Uh, is this the the game where it's raining? It is. It's is, called Heavy Rain. Is this uh, is a rabbit? I didn't know we were playing furry games. No, it did not. This is Russia Rabbit Man. He's Ru Russia Rabbit Man. Yep. <laughs> it costs four hundred thousand dollars to fire this carrot for twelve seconds. Anyway, I'm gonna skip the cutscene. Why? Eh, it's all right. What if I wanted to see the cutscene? Eh, then you can buy this game yourself. What, 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 what is that? What is that? Why is that a refrigerator? Oh yeah, things are just flying around. What is this, the, the... What, what the hell? So it's a time-traveling refrigerator? It's a time-traveling refrigerator! Did they get their hands on the initial script for Back to the Future? Uh, is, oh, is it a time-traveling refrigerator in that movie? Yeah, and the initial script for Back to the Future is way more depressing. Oh, is it? Yeah, and it's also a time-traveling refrigerator. I did not know that. Yeah, it's a refrigerator. Okay. Uh, the way he goes back in time, it, or the way he goes back to the future in the original version of Back to the Future... Getting that refrigerator... Is they, put the, they put the refrigerator on a trailer, and then they drive that trailer to the test of the uh, first atomic bomb. Oh. Or no, wait, no, no, I'm sorry. They drive that trailer to an atomic bomb test. Okay. Yeah, and then they blow it up with him inside the refrigerator. I did not know that was the thing. Chickens! There are indeed chickens here. I like chickens. So yeah, this little platformer game. All right, what what is this? It's a platformer, you know, you know platformers, games that used to exist, they no longer do. Uh, yeah, nobody. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, 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 there you go. That looks that looks more normal. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there I, I go. gotta that's, I gotta make the presentation look yeah, nice. Nobody really makes platformers anymore. He said, having just played Astro's Playroom. At at played what? Astro's at Playroom. It's it's the game that comes with your PS5. That's kind of like a celebration of Playstations and PlayStation games. Oh. And it's it's really cute and it's a lot of fun and it's a fun little platformer. Okay, so you've played that game. Yeah, I've played it. No, th I'm not saying there aren't platformers, but it certainly isn't the behemoth that they used to be. Yeah, no, they're they're that used really... to be the genre. Do you remember when Rare made games? I remember when Rare made games. Yeah. Do you remember when they? Well, good let, games. Let me rephrase that. Do you remember when Rare made platformers yeah. that were enjoyable? Of course. I never really played any of them, but my girlfriend loves them. Oh, yeah. Loved them. They're amazing. Absolutely great. So yeah, this is a brand new game, and I will say uh, it's a, it's a little jank. It, it doesn't doesn't have the best presentation, but man, it controls so nicely, and the gameplay is just so fun. Okay. So uh, yeah, I. I I was playing Banjo Tooie in my does, spare time. Does your hat change when you go into different areas? It does, yes. So I was playing Banjo Tooie in my spare time, and that game is kind of a slog. I got about halfway through it, and I was having a rough go of it. And then I got the, the people that made this game reached out to me and gave me the code to this game. So, Ooh. so I was like, all right, I'll give this a try. I'll, you know, I'll see what this platform is. I'm always on the lookout for good platformers. And uh, there's like 11 worlds in this, and I've already beaten nine of them. I, just, it, I started playing it, and I just started having so much fun with it. So yeah, I, I played... Uh, the, the Cajun world, the European, uh, the British, uh, was that, British Industrial Era. Ooh. I'm not sure what time period Honey, I Shrunk the Chimp is, but uh, I played 90s. Yeah, the 90s, okay, yeah. Ooh, wait, go back, go back. To what? Go back and look at the uh, Honey, I Shrunk the, Bunny, I Shrunk the Chimp. Yeah, Bunny, I Shrunk the Chimp. Uh, that is, is that an Australian power outlet? I feel like that's an Australian outlet. It's is this an Australian game? It's certainly not an American outlet. Yeah. Who well, makes that? Well, who makes that power? Well, let me let me look. Let look, me look. You look up the power outlet. Yeah, or? I want to look up what standard that power outlet is because no. I haven't seen I haven't seen power outlets that have the on-off switch since I was in Iraq. <laughs> <laughs> what standard is that outlet? Norwegian. No, because Australians got like like we we we. Australian looks like a, a face going. Uh, it looks. It looks like a shy guy. guy. Looks, looks like a shy a guy. Sad yeah. shy guy. Yeah. Um. What? What? What standard is that power outlet? European, maybe. Oh wait, 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 wait. wait. We got. Uh, okay, so that's a Type G outlet. I don't know who used Type. Who uses Type G? Don't. Don't know why it's important, but yeah. Uh, oh, Great Britain. They use the Type G in Great Britain. That doesn't surprise me. Yep, I was. Well, it's okay. Here's what it says. It says Type G, G B R I R L M L T M A S and S I N. Okay. I'm assuming that's Great Britain and Ireland. I, I don't know what M L T is. I don't know. Why is it that's the first thing I focus on? Not anything about the game, just the power outlet. I don't know. Weird fixations you got. You I know, got, I, you I, beeline on one thing, and then you gotta learn everything about that thing, right? I got that wonk brain. Yeah. So I got these levels. I've already beaten all these levels. The Cajun level, the Egyptian level. Does the does the old British level say Whitechapel on the sign? Uh, it says the, right there. The great right there. War. The great, the great win. Wish Chapel. Oh, okay. Never mind. I thought it said Whitechapel, and I was like, "Are we going? Are we? Are we going after? 
Jack the Ripper? We going after Jack the Ripper? Actually, yeah. So yeah, the Wish Chapel is probably a parody of the White Chapel. Oh, is it actually? Yeah, the boss battle I believe is a uh, Jack the Ripper essentially. Oh. All right, so tell me about this game. Give me the give me the elevator pitch. Uh, I, it's a platformer game with really tight controls, and uh, you go around collecting little timey wimey collectibles. Uh, there's ten major collectibles. You know, ten of the time chips, the ancient coins in each world. And you basically go to a world, grab everything in there, and uh, have a great time, laugh at all the in-jokes, and then move on to the next great level. Neat! And so we got the uh, these levels here, we got the Egyptian level, we got the haunted level, the haunted house level. Oh, you're a vampire now. Yeah, so the Grease level. Ancient Grease Trap. They should be- uh, Ancient Grease Trap is the name of the <laughs> They should have been playing uh, trap music there, that would have been pretty funny. What's this one? Wild West, the, the chimp, the bag, and the bunny. Okay, so it's a good, bad, and the ugly yeah. pun. And then we got uh, Hair Today, Gone Tomorrow. We got uh, Corsair's Cove, the pirate level, which is not the one I've, I've... I've not done the pirate level yet, so we're gonna step our toes in there and collect a few things. You're gonna, you're gonna dip your toe in the pirate water? Yes! And then there's this world over here. Pirate Ice. water's what they call the, 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 the hole that the toilet leads to. Is it? No, I'm just making up stuff, man! Mm. That was a dumb joke! No, you could've bluffed it, I wouldn't have known! We got Ice Ceratops level here, which seems to be like a Christmas and also ancient dinosaurs, dinosaurs theme. Uh, all right. And then the final level seems to be Middle Age Crisis, like a Middle e Middle Age I era. I like the chickens. Ah, also, chickens. go see what that lady yelling wrench is saying. And she just goes, Clive, wrench, Clive, wrench. Hey, you two, brush up on your advanced moves in the tutorial world. I've already done that. Yeah. Oh, that kind of sounds like uh, when people talk in Banjo-Kazooie. Yeah, it or, is. Uh, um, I don't know, like what one of the other rare games. Yeah. Where they go beep up boo we we up a boo Basically Banjo Kazooie. So yeah, this game uh, is not just, you know, a solid platformer. It's also got a lot of references to uh, other platformers that exist. So the, the gameplay very, very sim is very similar to a mixture of Spy I would say Spyro and Banjo Kazooie. Mm -hmm. Your character moves a lot like Jack and Daxter. Ooh. There were some references I've seen to uh, a Hat in Time. Ooh. And ukulele, and like that, they, there were a couple of character. Like, there was a character or two that I that were in this game that were just references to the other game, like direct copies. It's like, how did, did you even get the rights to that character? How'd you even do that? It's crazy, but uh, yeah, it's it's just a lot of fun. Is that is that an angler fit? So yeah, the health is a little uh, cheesecake. I guess I got six cheesecake slices. No, it's ca it's carrot cake. Car yeah, carrot. What I say? You said cheesecake. The cheesecake. No, it's, it's carrot cake. Yep. <laughs> A fox hanger from the ceiling. Okay. So I gotta get 400 uh, time stopwatches in the main level and I can go fight the boss, so... Yeah, we'll do that. So, yeah, every every world has a bunch of collectible time watches just kind of scattered around. You get them just by picking them up. And there's uh, 10 big trinkets you can find. It's great. It's great. I love it. He was, he was falling asleep. See, if they had done a, if they had made the dog like being bad, then it would have been a reference to Naughty Dog. Ah, oh, I see. Yeah. Yes. Oh, did Naughty Dog do Crash Bandicoot? Is yeah, that Naughty yeah, Dog? They, they did Crash Bandicoot for PlayStation One, and then uh, Jack and Daxter for PlayStation Two, and then Uncharted for PlayStation Three. Oh, uh, I was with you until you mentioned Uncharted. Oh yeah. The rest of those games are great, but I mean that one. Uncharted is pretty good. I'm, just being, I'm being dumb. Uh, Uncharted, you're, you're being, Uncharted is good. Yeah, you're being contrarian. It's all good. Uncharted is good. What's the other one that they did? That's the really popular one. Uh, Last of Us. Oh yeah, that game sucks. Yeah, yeah, that's the popular opinion, or for some people, I guess. I'm just, I'm just being, I'm being, being a troll. Again. I'm being a troll again. Yeah, I'm being a troll. It's called audience engagement, baby. I, I yeah. suppose. Yeah. So, Make yeah. everyone mad in the comments. I, you could if you want to. I'm not telling you to do that. I'm saying I'm, I'm doing that. I'm not telling you, the commenter, that is furiously typing right now. I can hear you doing it. The Last of Us is an amazing game. How dare you besmirch Joel? So you're, you're all going ahead and ranting and raving over there. I'm just running around collecting time pieces, and it, it might not be the most. Stimulating I thought they thing. were. I thought they were compasses. Yeah, compasses, whatever. Actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, compasses compasses don't really have like the cover for them. I get no. They do if they're like a lensatic compass, but uh, I'm, I'm, you should not do that to monkeys. Yeah, you should definitely do that to monkeys. Helps you traver traverse the uh, I don't exactly know the the uh, logic behind it, but yeah, waving a monkey around helps you jump around from place to place. How's it going, llama? Hello, Traveler. I'm a member of the Clan of Llamas. Carnal Llamas. Yeah, bring me a scroll. So, bring him a scroll, he'll give you some information. I was gonna read that. You could if you want to. Welcome to Corsair's Cove. Now leave. Say, so, yeah, just running around. Running around, just, just, 
just having a great time, just having a grand old time, running around. It's it's a very simple pleasure. You just grab these things by walking up to them. They just go in your back pocket. It's great. It's great. I love everything about this. Now I have I have a silly question for What's you. Up? What's up? What's your silly why, question? Why why is it you like this, which is just a collectathon? Yeah, essentially. But you didn't like Tinykin. I enjoy Tinykin. But I thought you were like, no, I'm bored of it because it's just a collectathon. Well, Gold! I, I, I beat it. I ended up beating it. Oh, there's a key. Oh, okay. So keys are like, uh, essentially, if you play Banjo, because keys are like gingers. There's five of them in each world. You find all five of them, you get to open up a safe, and that safe has uh, one of the big old collectibles in it. Where, where's the jiggy? That's essentially what we're collecting. The, the, uh, the coins, the big ancient coins, if we can find them, they're jiggies. Ah, the one that there's only ten of. Yes. And it just, this game is just very. What the, oh, I wanted to look at what that guy was. Uh, yeah, yeah. Was he like a was he like a fun imp thing? Essentially, yeah. There's there's a few character types, character enemies that are reused, which is you know unfortunate, but you know, this game does the best what it has. Definitely not Captain Bluebeard's house. Go away. Yeah. Little fun things scattered all over the place. Little fun references. Little jokes. Captain Bluebeard, dead or alive. Wanted for piracy and dad jokes. Hey. I, you can't be wanted for dad jokes. Uh, the only you thing can. you can do is cringe about. Oh, oh, all right. Game showed it's a little, a little bit of its ass here, but that's okay, uh, unfortunate. That's, I, that, you know, I wanted to show this game in a good light because I had a lot of fun with it so far, but uh, it's a little embarrassing to see that so, happen. So tell me a little bit about this game. How big is the development team? Is it a very small development team? I, I don't know. Is it a small, like, indie game? I would assume so. I'm not, I'm not going to say this game is perfect because it very much is not, but it just feels fun to play. Like, it, this well, game has a lot of flaws, but the gameplay overtakes them all because I just have so much fun with it. You know what? If you're having fun playing it, then that's all that matters. Exactly. But, like, the opening cutscene is kind of jank. I'll, I'll show that to you a little bit later, but, like, you, you watch the opening cutscene, and it, it's done with character models that don't look like they were made for uh, cutscenes because they're not exactly... Uh. Rigged smoothly. So you, you want see to see his butt crack? Yeah, you can see his butt crack. He's a he's a speedy little guy. Hey, look at me. I'm over here. He's having trouble. Ah, ye matey, it's me. My butt be hanging out. I'm here to attack ye so that I can get a fresh what? pair of pants. Hey. Man, just give him a pair of pants. He'll stop attacking you. It's everything about this game. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yeah, there we go. A lot of this game is uh, very fast and immediate. You could... I didn't, I didn't realize this until about halfway through playing it. But there is the ability to sprint places. That w there was a tutorial level, but that wasn't really covered. Didn't really tell you you could sprint, ah. but uh, you you absolutely can, and that just makes the game so much faster. I hear someone snoring very loudly, though. It's me. I'm snoring. Was oh, it this guy? Oh. Wake up! Look. Oh, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, he's saluting. Uh, oh, you were supposed to help, but that's fine. Apparently, what? I found one saluting dog, and there's probably four others around here. Oh, they were sleeping. Okay. What is the name of this game? It's called Clive and Wrench. Oh, you want to see the big old collectible here. So every level has this really easy collectible to get right here. So we got running around. Oh, I missed him. <laughs> Give me a second, I'll grab it. Because he just goes in a very predictable pattern. It's like the easiest one to get here. He's going to run through this door. I'm going to smack him. What the? What the heck? Like, mm, all right. Nope, he ran around you. All right, he's just running circles around me, making me look bad. There we go. Ancient stone found. I suppose he felt right at home here. So yeah, he was just running around, and that, that was a tiny rabbit. The tiny rabbit just running around with the collectible. I smacked him. It's mine now. That's uh, one out of ten for the level. It definitely. This game. I'm looking at like the splash art for this game, uh -huh. and like the the trailer for it, and it looks like it looks like a game that I remember playing on Windows 95. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm not not the gameplay. I'm I'm talking about just like the splash art and stuff. It's like there's another game that I'm thinking of where you play as a green rack or uh, not a green raccoon. You play as a green rabbit. Um, I don't remember what the name of that game is. You think about Reader Rabbit maybe? No, 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 no. It was an, it was another like 2D. It was a 2D platformer, and it, it for some reason it reminds me like the splash art reminds me of that. Okay. Clive and Wrench is a 3D platformer starring Clive, a rabbit, and Wrench, the literal monkey on his back. Your adventure takes you hurtling through time and space in a 1950s refrigerator 
on a heroic quest to thwart the tyrannical Dr. Dawkus. Doc, it, does, it doesn't really matter what the plot of the game is. You're just going to stop his evil plans. It's just a flimsy pretest to go around collecting things. Like, the time travel gimmick and everything doesn't really matter. You're just going around fun-themed worlds, collecting things, and... But what if people. I what if I really care about the 1950s you, time travel? You care about the lore and everything. What yeah. if I what if I care about the Mike? Don't you know that that's all anyone cares about anymore is the lore? The lore, yeah. The lore is the only thing that matters. You know, yeah. to the point that they could rename they could rename history class uh, nonfiction lore, and people, people would, would probably, take it. People would, yeah, people would actually probably major in it in college if it was nonfiction lore. Man, I hear the guy snorting around here. It's kind of driving me insane. Where is this guy? If he, I had to is guess. He, is he over here? Like, there's a... Oh, boy, that just... That doesn't go nowhere. Got it. Oh, you can swim. Okay. Yeah. This is a very nice game in the sense that you don't drown immediately when you're in the water. And you know what I like about this game is so far is that I have not found a water level yet, you know? I feel like they uh, have finally figured out that water levels rarely work, so why force them? I bet he's inside that safe. Uh, maybe he's down here in this block, this box. I don't know where he is. It seems... It seems like it's a solid, uh... I don't want to talk crap on this game because, like, I, I I don't know, but there there do seem to be some uh -huh. some weird there does seem to be some weird jank, yeah, like enemies being able to get stuck on that. So I will say that this game is not going to set the world on fire. The enemy types are repetitive. Uh, the cutscenes aren't great. The hero is uh, I wouldn't say they're iconic. They're very they're kind of forget like you could literally like you could mod this game to swap out the protagonist with any other existing protagonist. And it wouldn't really make much of a difference because Clive and Clive and Wrench themselves don't have much personality. The game really isn't about them. This is not a Clive and Wrench game. This is just a nostalgic platformer game at its heart. And uh, it, the one thing it does very well that compensates for all their shortcomings, I will say again, is the gameplay feels nice. The game is it just it just feels fun to play. Hey yo, a lot of things just feel very immediate. It's not super difficult. This guy probably wants you to find the five people I've been finding. Yep. Could you find my crew? They were right tired after a day of picking oranges. Yep, I've been oh, waking them up, so... The orange. Yeah. Oh, the cause, orange yeah. dogs. Because it's pirate, because if you don't have enough oranges, you get scared. Oh, yeah, you gotta, get, you gotta make sure you get that vitamin C. Yeah. Oh, wait. What is that? Back to the fuchsia. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> this game just loves throwing little puns in like that. I feel like the refrigerator is definitely a reference to the original script for Back to the Future. I didn't even realize if that was a reference. It's pretty cool. Do you know why, um... Do I know why they cut it? No, do you know what? Do you know why Marty and Doc are friends? Because it's never really established in Back to the Future. I did To not. the point that they put the... Did, have you watched some... I don't know. You haven't I, watched I, I haven't, Back to the I've not watched the movies, but I know enough about them. In the first Back to the Future movie, it begins with, uh... The, the movie begins with Marty at Doc's lab, or like his... Yeah, it's, it's at Doc's lab. Yeah. And Doc has like a giant amplifier for a guitar. Okay. Um, and that's like, that. they put that in there as like, this is why, this is why Marty is friends with Doc. But in the original script, the reason he was friends with Doc is because he used, uh... Time travel to make himself friends. No, he, past. he, he and Doc were running a, uh, illegal porn bootlegging service. Oh, really? Yep. <laughs> that's like the official lore. Yeah, that's off. the official reason in the original, um, in the original book. What does that say? DGMC Bomb Cannon. What is DGMC? I don't know. Acme? Is, that might be Acme. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be shooting at with this thing right now. Oh. Uh, I'll have to figure that out later. Well, people will want to know, what, why why are you uh, playing as a rabbit? And why do you have a monkey? Whose name is Rick? Because it's, it's Monkey Wrench. That's monkey Wrench, right. yeah, that's yeah. His name is Mon that's why his name is Wrench, because right, he's right. a monkey. So yep. it's Monkey Wrench. But why are you a rabbit named Clive? I don't know. I, I, I've not figured that reference out yet. Oh boy, I'm not sure I'm supposed to get around to that one. Although I do hear more snoring. All right, I'll, I'll keep See, on looking. See, it would make kind of it would kind of make sense like if it was a, for me personally. It would kind of make sense if you were playing as a dog named Clive because then you're Clive Barker. Barker yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I got that. Um, I got it. Yeah, uh, but I don't I don't know why you're a rabbit named. What is what is the reference in rabbit? Clive. I don't know. Clive. Maybe maybe that's the little bit of originality that's not a reference. Maybe this is they wanted Clive to I mean, be. Not everything has to be a reference. Not everything has to be a reference. No. Okay, so I can't climb up this pipe. I feel, I feel like we should we should start a whole new game though, so that we can see the cutscenes if we're gonna like show this off to people. Hey, if, if you want, you know, I can I can take a break from this one. We can uh, start the new game. I can show you the first world. Sure. Let me just skip through the orientation pretty quickly. All right, Leo, see the orientation. 
All right, so this is a tutorial level. Whoop, whoop. Let me okay. just grab everything in here, yeah, nice you and can, quick. You can, you you can double can do jump. This stuff. You can uh, do another double jump. You can grab oh, this thing. Oh, that's kind of fun. How the, the they're all like meters, so it's like the the cube is like two meters, and then that one's like a two meter cube. Uh -huh. and that one's a one meter cube. Mm -hmm. And the big ones are an eight meter cube. See, that's kind of fun. I like that you can tell immediately like how big how big that is. That's kind of neat. Yeah, it's telling you, you can go all over the place. This thing is telling you. And this is a really cool feature I didn't mention yet. Uh, for a collective for a collectathon game like this, if you're trying to find that one remaining collectible. Where is it? Oh, where could it be? Oh, could it be down here? Oh, oh that's, very that's sneaky. That's kind of nice. Yeah, very handy. Really makes me wish the games would retroactively add them because it's yeah, just a nice thing. Yeah, I've, I've played a few like platformer collectathon games where it's, you spend four and a half hours looking for that last stupid thing. Mm -hmm. and don't, you ruined the snowman! I ruined the snowman! No How apologies! How could you do that to that poor I, snowman? I just did it. I have no apologies. All right, so that's a tutorial, essentially. Oh, wait, I missed this one. Hold on. Let me grab this. All right, and now it's a tutorial. All right, so we got a uh, robot hand. Oh, he does have some kind of... Maybe it's just got a pit boy or something on his hand there. We got robot hand... Uh, Russian minion? Russian... Rabbit? Rabbit. Russian rabbit! We got piano playing, dude. He's probably evil. No, only people who play pipe organs are evil. Oh. Yeah, if you play piano, you can't be you can't be evil if you play piano. Especially not when you're enjoying it like he is. Matchsticks, five pence each. Wow. Is is Matchstick Mole just just the guy that sells matchsticks outside the castle? What? Oh, that seems like kind of a jerk thing to do. Well, it's inside the castle though. Why is he selling matchsticks? It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Well, it's 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 an establishing shot showing that he's a jerk. Yes. Hey, boss. Sorry, I'm late before the piano recital. But I found something you were not on. The see. flex carburetor. It definitely is not a flux <gasps> capacitor. It's a flex carburetor. Yeah. The next morning, this is the part of the opening cutscene where I went, "Ooh, I'm not sure if this game is gonna be good." It does not leave a very, it, it does not leave a good impression on you. Is the uh, is it, that poster supposed to be for Bunny the Vampire Slayer? Oh, there are so many Buffy, Buffy, There are Buffy so the many Vampire references. Slayer. But yeah, this game feels like it's. Oh, there's something for bad, bad it, breath day instead of Conker's bad fur day. Yeah, there's references all over the place. Honey Gyrios, like, but the, the game, the game, the, the cutscene just looks like it's like early PlayStation Two. I mean, you know, it tracks though. It's a platformer. Exactly. It's 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 crappy, but it's nostalgic, so it makes up for it. Are you just eating your cereal dry? We can't animate fluids yet. She notices something. Oh no! It causes her to drop her spoon. <gasps> There's footprints on my the wall. Blueprints for the the flux the the, the the flak carburetor. The 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 framed blueprints were were broken into and stolen and brought to the castle. I mean, it will, oh okay, never. I was about to say it could be any anyone could have taken those blueprints. It didn't necessarily have to be from the. You woke up the monkey. Doesn't look great, but that's fine. We're glossing over it. Yeah, there's no voice acting either. Mm. Like, cause, cause I guess games back then didn't have voice acting. She's explaining to the monkey that uh, the bad guy, bad guy, stole time machine plus time travel equals bad, bad things. Uh huh. Yup. Okay, I'm uh -huh. still following. Uh huh. That tracks. World on fire. He wasn't eating cereal, it's fun. So you're saying that the evil rabbit going back in time is what caused climate change. Hooray, I'm guilt free! Oh, oh we also have time travel. Yep, because he stole the blueprints, but we still have time travel. And he stole some gladiator's helmet, so now they're probably gonna die in combat. And I, I, I don't even uh, know what that's future a, a, a future thing? I, 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 okay, that was a little vague. Uh, a, a PlayStation, oh, a PlayStation Two. Oh, she, she just went to GameStop. Oh, uh, is that Half Life Three? Uh, uh, oh, okay. <laughs> you were a mummy! Yay! Hooray! 
Pound it! No! No, I don't I don't do that. <laughs> Get in the damn refrigerator! You're gonna Oh, be they were like, good luck! Yeah, have fun! <laughs> Alright, no fine, we'll do it. So are they siblings or are they I don't know! What? Well, that was the opening cutscene though. That's all you need! That's all the pretext you need for playing a fun platformer game. Okay, yeah, that was all the pretext you needed. Yep, exactly. Uh, we will, uh, oh, fam- okay, yeah, so they're siblings. Oh yeah, family, okay, yeah, that, that, makes, that tracks. Apparently this- apparently they- that- that photo was taken, uh, the- Well, it depends on July the- July 3rd, uh, 2019. Depends on the do- it depends on the date format. It could have been 2003 on the 6th month of the 19th day. I don't- I don't know. Nobody does dates like that. Weirdos do! So yeah, the, there's a bunch of levels. Every single level has a world you can explore, collect 10 collectible coins, and then at the end, there's a boss fight. And the boss fights are, uh, they're, they're a little hit and miss. They're kind of all, all over the place. One or two of these boss fights that I've done so far are basically just platforming sections. So you get to the top of their tower and they're automatically defeated. W what, at what point do you fight the Great Mighty Pooh? Uh, uh, you're, you're thinking of the game that was referenced, Conqueror's Bad Fur Day. Yes. This, this game has its own unique creatures. Do, but does it have the Great Mighty Pooh? I don't think it does, I'm sorry. All right, well, let's do the first level. Okay. Running through this ductwork vent past blue, the blue, 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 blue. cereal. And here we are. Yeah, every other world is basically time travel. This one is just, you got shrunk. Well, it's here in the 90s. I guess. You got you got sent into the 90s and also shrunk. A and also shrunk, yeah. That's, that's the thing they didn't tell me about this one. Going to the 90s would shrink me. Yep. Well, actually, not a lot of people know this, but everybody was smaller in the 90s. Uh, you got Planker's Bad Breath Day, Barry Planker, or Plonker's Bad Breath Day, Barry Planker, and the Dungeon of Misery. Froggy 2, Dudsy 3D. Fuck, Bubsy! Oh, uh, uh, okay, so these two are, these two are Harry Potter references. Barry you got Planter, ah, yeah. Barry Planter and the Philanthropist Brick, and Barry Planter and the Dungeon of Mystery. Taken 3, Wally Gang, Carton. Little spew, yeah, yeah, a bunch of references. I don't know what monarch and I don't know what this is a reference to. Yeah, the dog father over yeah, here. The, oh yeah, the dog father. Why is, does this kid have a copy of the Godfather? Oh yeah, because uh, well, it's a reference. It's a it's a reference to the Godfather. Why I don't think. Why do you assume he's a kid? Just because he's got like colorful. All right, fair paper. enough. Maybe it's a college bedroom. Yeah, exactly. He's got a, like a uh, vinyl player right here. Ooh. Nobody had vinyl in the nineties. Oh, I hear 2-bit. There you go. Anton Ball over there. There's a PlayStation 1 there. It's like part of the, the fun is just being able to bounce super high. The game's basic movement includes, you know, jump up very high, and it, that's just so nice. Yep. You got more You got more games there. We've got uh, SWA, Miami Monsters, Brianna, Sherry, Robert, Lufa, Fight for Bikini Atoll, Princess of Egypt. Steely Wheelies Automobiles 3. <laughs> I like Grand how it's Ted Eagle instead of Tony Hawk. Oh, uh, I see, yeah. Hey, I found one! Ancient Stone! Just kind of lying here. Maybe the Yay, first. Yay, the first and not the last. Certainly not the last. Yeah, I can talk to these bouncing things. It'll give me some basic information, but whatever. Oh, yeah, I can ground pound. Oh, hey, there you go. Second one. It's just that simple on the first level. Woo! Bada bing, baby! You know what this level reminds me of? What's up? Uh, playing. The original Counter Strike, there was a level. I think it was a modded level, or like a like a fan made level. But there was a level in the original Counter Strike called De Rats, okay. where uh, you you were about the size of a rat, and it was in a kitchen. Oh. Um, and you could turn on the garbage disposal while people were in the sink, and it would chop them up. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh my. They would just die. It wouldn't yeah. like chop them into. It wasn't like gruesome or anything. They would just die. Yeah, they, they would. Just but it, yeah, I just remember playing that level of the original Counter Strike. Okay. It's a lot of fun. I never played Captain Strike. Yeah, I never played it back in the day. I remember the glory days of the original Counter Strike in the early 2000s where people made the lobby from the first Matrix movie. Did they? Yeah, they people, made, people made that in the original Counter Strike. It was fun. Yeah. A lot of creativeness, I'm sure. But we're not talking about, uh, we're not talking about, we're not talking about first person shooters, we're talking about platformers right now. I suppose. I'm just going around collecting bees. I'm sure there's a bee father around here who wants me to collect bees. Uh, the bee. I, if only you could be faster when getting those bees. I'm doing my best. And that fan knocked over a bowling ball. That's a powerful fan, I that guess. That's a really powerful fan. They don't make them like they used to. Ooh, I found another bee! Ah, don't worry, I got the ability to ledge grab. It's all good. Ah. <sighs> 
it just feels so good to run around. And it's, it's got, you know what it kind of reminds me of? A game, a game we played recently? Vampire... Oh, I like the... I like the um... I like the, the, the Nirvana cover, the uh, Serenity Forget It, instead of Nirvana Nevermind. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> it's Serenity Forget It instead of Nirvana Nevermind. So it's uh, it's the same thing, but just different words. Yeah, nice reference. Oh, find my kids. Yeah, I'm still looking for them. Don't worry, man. Hey, we're, we're, we're working on it. I mean, chased by a bunch of weird things shooting at me and everything. But yeah, this game reminds me of Vampire Survivors in the sense that you can just go around, you immediately feel like this gratification of picking up some really easy stuff. Oh, you mean... Okay, I'm sorry. You get the same feeling playing this game. You have the same emotions playing this game that you do playing Vampire Survivors. Yeah, I got it. It's I just, got it. You just feel like you're collecting a bunch of stuff, and it's just it just is overwhelming. A sense of joy. Only it's not. I mean, I wouldn't even say Vampire. Neither of these games are super difficult. You know. I you, when you said it, it reminds you of Vampire Survivors, I I, I went like you all were... autistic for a second. I was like, uh, they're not even the same fucking genre, they, buddy. They are not. No. <laughs> That is correct. Just like, my brain just immediately You're, was like, well, actually! For some reason, you got really hostile. And yeah, I don't, I don't know why. <laughs> I'm sorry. I apologize. But Oh, I missed this one over here. Let me just grab this one nice and easy. That, I, that pizza box is perilously close to the oven that is just on, it just and on, I don't like it. It's malfunctioning. It's all fine. Oh, I accidentally bumped into that guy. He's dead now. Woo, purple ones are worth ten. Man, All right. The pizza always falls in between the ca in between the cabinet and the refrigerator. I hate it when that happens. Found a key. There we go. And another watch. Oh, spider! Woo! Oh, spider! He oh. is our hero, spider. I went Get too fast. Rid of spider. spider. Step on spider, spider. We love you, spider. We love you, spider. I promise not to kill you. So yeah, spider. So oh, it's because you stepped inside I, the the it, super. Yeah, cold. I died because I was rushing so fast that I got hit by the spider, and I stepped on some purple goo, and then yeah, the steam got me. It was a lot of things. I got killed by a lot of things at once. I was rushing. It's fine. There, there were many things that they hit you at once. The penalty for dying isn't significant. It's it's totally fine. Robot. It's easy to deal with these things. Safe is here, so if I find all five keys, it'll open that safe. You need, that you need five. I was wondering why you weren't opening the safe that you found earlier. I found two. In like when when we when we first start. Oh, is there? A, that's a Matrix reference. Was that? That was one of the uh, the movies. It's that one. Uh, oh, apparently yes. it's a book. Mainframe rebooted, so it's Matrix instead of Matrix the rebooted. One. It's mainframe rebooted. Uh, yes. Oh wait, who are the actors? Who are the actors? Yeah, oh, no, I need to see. They're puns too. Keegan Feathers, Larry Kingfisher, and Carry On Luggage. Uh, instead of carry on moss, it's carry on carry on luggage. Oh, I see. Yeah. Super indie carts. Bad. Oh, hey, I found all five of the bees. All right. They instantly teleported. They back instantly to the teleported, father. and if as I go, all bees can do. Absolutely, that's what bees are known for. Bees are known for instant teleportation. Oh, there's a switch over here I didn't see earlier. Let me just press this quickly. Oh. Pow. And that opened that. Good to know. It did it. It did the thing. Yep. <laughs> Whoa, what's this? What's this? Oh, I'm jumping around too fast. Blakey man card. Oh, it's like, it's uh, Pokemon. I got it's it. It's Pokemon, but instead of Pokemon, it's... Where, where, where? What's all this thing? What's all this thing? Oh, oh it's Blokemon. Oh, Blokemon. Uh, uh, well, 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 what's all this thing? Uh, let me just grab this cheesecake, get my health back, and then I open up a new area. No, it's just... carrot cake. It's carrot cake. I keep calling it cheesecake. I'm sorry. Oh, that's right. I opened up something in the year an event. Let me just grab uh, the bee prize. Bee surprise. Ta-da! Sting operation. Ah, it's a sting. Ah, uh, yes. Operation. And this goes down here. Whoa. Where's the pathway I just opened? This that, way. Right down there. All right. Woo. This is a big vent system for a refrigerator. It's, uh, it's I not, think. It's not, I don't know. It's not a refrigerator, it's just the ductwork of the house, you know? How'd that pencil get in there? Have you ever opened up your vents and you find a bunch of stuff in there? Like I don't have any vents in my apartment. What? You don't have any vents? No, my apartment's all the, uh, the, the weird, um, like, radi radi radiator. It's basically got a bunch of vents that are not vents. <laughs> it's got a bunch of radiators down at the floor. Oh. Like, small ones, though. Okay. It's hot water, radiant heating. 
Come here! Yes. Okay, it, it's really Get easy. him! Get the rabbit! I mean, in Spyro, it's really difficult to chase this guy, but uh, in this game, it's relatively easy. You can just stand... He goes in a very predictable pattern. Just <laughs> gotta catch a snatcher! That's what he is. Oh, he's a snatcher. He's a snatcher. He looks like a thin version whoa. of Big Chungus. Whoa, whoa! Oh, okay. They're breaking themselves upon me! Slippery when wet, I'll take it. See you later, suckers! Thanks for the prize! Thanks for all the prize, nerds! I didn't realize it was in the bathroom! Oh, I hate wood toilet seats. Uh, yeah. I, ha I, I, I hate the ones that I... Because I know most toilet seats are made of wood, but I hate the ones where it's just like, it looks like wood. Yeah. Oh, it's knees and toes instead of head and shoulders. Uh, yeah. Get it? Yeah, that, yeah, that's, that's, yeah, get that's it. fine. It's a lot of fun. It's knees, knees and toes. You know what's even worse than wooden toilet seats is, uh... Oh, I flooded the entire room. Oh, no! So... Uh, Whoa, that filled up fast! Yeah, it did! Yikes! Ever had a, you know, I grew up with a, a bathroom that had carpet. Isn't that fun? Oh, yeah, that's always really dumb. Like, why why have, why do you have carpet in the bathroom? Yeah. Why? Shouldn't. Probably like, shouldn't. Like, no. why? Of all the places to have carpet, you don't do it in the bathroom. What if, what if you, what if you make a, what if you have a little miss when you're having a wee? And you better clean it better well. Whoa. I'm like. I know you really like platforming games. Yeah. I was never as big into platformers as as you were, but I don't dislike them. No. Oh, she's yelling at you again. She, yeah, there's uh there's that rabbit over there telling me things to do. She's already making me go on this adventure. You, she think you think she'd be a little more understanding that yeah, I'm cut me some slack, lady. I'm doing it. I'm doing uh, the you're thing. About to run out of air. Oh crap! I, I forgot about that. All right, no, it's all good. It was a little for, it was more forgiving than I thought it was gonna be. Oh man, just the very end of that towel is stuck in the water. It's like, that's... <laughs> that's gonna be a... That's... Yeah. Oh, it sucks. Don't you... I hate it when, like, I go to dry off with a towel, but, like, the very end of it is wet. Yeah, I'm yeah. Going. I don't know where that last key is, but, yeah, that... We've basically seen every area in this map so far. Uh, just gotta grab all the last collectibles. Where is that? Where's the next one? Right there? All right, cool, got it. Oh, I fell off. Yo, what's up? Hello, pr Professor oh, Nancy. It's pro okay, it's Professor Nancy. Well done for finding me. My wrist-rounded time machine allows for much more accurate re-entry coordinates. I promise we'll sort Einie's navigation out when we get a moment. Einie? All right, cool. The water looks nice. No, I go fresca. So uh, it says right there we've gotten seven of the big old collectibles in this game so far. I'm missing uh, missing one key to get the key collectible. But uh, yeah, that was basically the first level. Neat. It was simple. It was fun. It was almost immediately the entire time. The only thing I would I would say I would like if someone would have said, "What's the biggest thing to improve this game?" I'd, I'd say a minor one would be um, if the, uh, the 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 detector thing here, if that could detect where keys are, because I've been able to use this thing to find all the timey wimey things. It's great, but every once in a while I miss one of the five keys and I can't find it, and this thing doesn't pick it up, and it's like, oh, it's mm. killing me. Yeah, but it's gonna give you some challenge. I guess so. Yeah. But if, if you ask me, what, like, what is the one thing to add to this game to uh, you know elevate it? You know, what would be the biggest quality of life improvement? I would say, uh, in between the levels, just have a cut, uh, have some pretty nice animated cutscenes. Because, like I said, the in-game character models are kind of jank; they don't really fit the cutscene very well. And uh, this doesn't feel like a uh, Clive and Wrench here have much of an identity besides being generic platform mascots. Mm -hmm. So you could give them a little bit more character if you had you know animated cutscenes. And just a little reward for keeping on playing the game. It'd be nice. It'd just be nice. All right, when's the boss fight? So I just remembered that the uh, first level, Bunny, I Shrunk the Chimp, doesn't actually have a boss fight. Ah. It, it's basically like the the uh, very kind intro level. Yeah, where it's not just much the can first hurt one. you. Yeah. So yeah, the boss fight for the uh, British level over here is pretty fun. The boss fight for the Cajun world I thought was pretty good too. The boss fight for the Egyptian world was uh, basically just climbing a tower. Uh huh. But, yeah, we'll show you the boss fight for the Cajun world, because I thought that one was pretty fun. As long as I can remember where that is. <laughs> hey, hey! Hey! Yo! I'm walking here! Hey. I'm shooting tomatoes at you! Hey! I got a Tommy gun that shoots tomatoes! Whoa! Hey, yeah! There we go! It's a bog. That's, that's, the, uh, that's the actual world, and the boss fight's over here. I'm hoping I can retry the boss fight. Like, uh, I've already beat him once on this save file, but hopefully I'm allowed to rechallenge them just for fun, because, you know, I enjoyed that. Is the boss is the boss of the bog a frog? <laughs> that would be very stereotypical. No, it's doing something a little more inventive. We're here. Oh. There, she is a frog. It's a frog. Okay, I lied. It's a frog. I told you. I, th I thought it was going to be a frog. <laughs> I guess I guess you were right. It's, I, it's voodoo frog. It's voodoo frog, yep. 
All right, I took care of the voodoo. How about that? I took care of the voodoo. What do you do? You gotta, oh, someone in dice now. Got a big gambling thing going on. Riverboat. I got it. I got it. Yep. Oh, it's because it's it's in Louisiana. They're doing they're doing riverboat. Yeah. Stuff. Oh, that oh. one has a shield. That yep. There we go. I smacked her. That oh, she turned herself yeah, into a she turned frog. herself into a voodoo doll and came down to attack me. Okay. I smacked her back though. Where'd you go? Uh, I don't know. Where'd you go? Uh, oh, I got it. I these guys okay. got stuck. It. Excuse me. Excuse me. There we go. There she is, dancing on top of the roulette wheel. Nope, oh, summon a few more things. All right, not paying attention enough. Got it. More sack boys. All right, there you go. How about that? Oh boy. Oh boy. More dice. Oh, don't don't let them land on you. Look for the shadows. Look for the shadows. I'm betting it all on red. Just smack it. Just smash the table down. All right, that works. Yeah, I got her. Yeah, okay. Here she comes. Here she comes. Here she comes. Yeah, it's back. How about that? Bonk. And then I'll take care of these little guys here. There you go. There you go. She's not happy about that. Oh, oh, hey, the thing's still firing at me. The dice coming out of the sky still. A little chaotic. Oh, yeah, yep. Wait for the bubble wear off. Wait for the bubble. And smack. Wait a minute. Why are there cards on the. I got her. Oh, that was it. And then she starts going, uh. Uh. Oh! Oh, she did. Ah! Uh, what was the point of? And now we have access to the Egyptian world! Yay! Yay! <laughs> that was that was that. That was the boss fight. Yeah! All right then. <laughs> what a boss fight! So yeah, as you saw, there wasn't a, a a whole lot to that boss fight, but it was still fun. It seems like kind of a neat game. I'm interested in the chickens, though. Yeah, I'm sure you are. I I, I know this game isn't really your cup of tea. And I know that this game is probably going to get a fair amount of criticism because, yeah, yeah, the, the quality does seem a bit middling. It depends on what the price is. Yeah, th this is this this game is not going to set the world on fire, but like the, the the very tight gameplay controls more than make up for it. I'd say I had a lot of fun with this so far, and I'll probably end up beating it too. Cool.